Yankees hosting the Padres. The Padres are plus 120 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 145 over under nine runs. Padres getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by... If they win outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Yankees laying a run and a half are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they would have to win by two. Waka pitched twice against the Yankees last year. It wasn't with the Padres. It was with the... Uh, it was in the AL East. Seven innings, no runs, no earned. They won three nothing. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They lost five to four in ten innings, and that was in New York. Severino did not pitch against the Padres last year or this year. This is his first appearance against them this year. The Padres are seven and two as a team with Waka on the mound. They've won his last three starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and five strikeouts per game in those games. The Yankees are one and zero with Severino on the mound. He's averaging four and two-thirds innings pitched and five strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is six and four. The Padres are six and four. The favorites on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is seven and three on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half, is six and four. There have been three one-run games in their last ten meetings. The under has hit in their last two games. The under is five, four, and one, and the under nine specifically is five, one, and four. Nine seems to be the magic number. The last game they played against each other, the Padres won five, one. The game before that, the Yankees won seven, nothing. The game before that, the Padres won five, four, and the game before that, the Yankees won five, two. In their last handful of games overall, the Padres are four and one in their last five, and five and five in their last ten. 11 runs, 8 runs, 14 runs, and 6 runs. 7 runs and a win, 3 runs and a loss, 8 runs and a win, 5 runs and a win. They've won their last two games. For the Yankees, they've dropped their last three games. They are 6 and 4 in their last 10 and 1 and 3 in their last four. 11 runs, 15 runs, 4 runs, 6 runs. 6 runs and a win, 6 runs and a loss, and then back to back games where they lost and they scored one run so the Yankees are on a two-game losing streak I don't think Severino is going to make that much of a difference today I know that everyone's probably going to hammer the Yankees after what happened yesterday I'm going to take the Padres with the money line I'm going to take the Padres getting the runs and I'm going to go under if this game is more likely to do anything it's going to hit seven or go under in my opinion these are just my pick or if you disagree please go with your gut and please bet responsibly and when I said hit seven I meant to say hit nine